Welcome back guys. Today we're going to look at 2014 American romantic horror film called Spring. At the beginning of the film, Evan is seen staring at his sick mother while she's sleeping. She awakens and greets Evan. They talk for a while, holding hands, and just a moment later, the woman dies. Next, we're showing a grieving Evan sitting at a bar after he's just attended his mother's funeral. It's revealed that he's working at the same bar, but due to the tragic event he had to face, his friend is covering his shift. While Evan is chatting with his friend Tommy, a woman is seen angrily yelling and kicking a machine at the bar. Evan excuses himself to go to the restroom. As he gets up to leave, he accidentally bumps into a short-tempered girl's boyfriend, who turns out to be just as short-tempered. He starts getting rude to Evan. As a result, Tommy throws an insult at him and tells him to leave Evan alone. The guy grabs a wine bottle to hit Tommy, but not wanting to see the last person dear to him hurt, Evan attacks the man and beats him up badly. Tommy intervenes and pulls Evan outside. The bartender informs Evan that because of his earlier fight, the owner has fired him. He tells him that the guy was hurt so badly the cops had to come. Later, while Evan and Tommy are sitting outside Evan's house, the guy drives by Evan's house and threatens him. Evan remarks that the guy will probably press charges against him and come with more men to beat him up later. Tommy tells him just to make sure his doors are locked and leaves. The next morning, the cops knock at Evan's door. Realizing this place is nothing but trouble for him, Evan takes the earliest flight out of California to Italy. He reaches Italy and starts wandering around aimlessly. One night, he meets two tourists at a club who immediately befriend him. Evan thus starts hanging out with these boys. While walking with them one day, he catches a woman looking at him. He later sees the same girl while he's sitting at a cafe. He approaches her near the counter and attempts to make small talk, but the girl turns out to be very straightforward and asks him to leave with her. Evan invites her to drink with his friends, but she says she just wants to go with him. Evan gets suspicious and turns her down, however he tells her he'd love to take her out. The woman tells him she doesn't date and leaves. The tourists soon leave. Before leaving, they ask Evan to accompany them, but due to the shortage of money, he turns them down. Evan then starts hunting for jobs. A poster leads him to an elderly farmer called Angelo, who's been looking for someone to help him on his farm. Angelo gives Evan food and a place to stay. While sitting for a meal, Evan finds a picture of a woman in the house and asks Angelo if she's his wife. Angelo confirms this and reveals that she died in a car accident. The men make a toast to women and drink. While he's wandering the streets, Evan sees the woman from earlier again and runs to catch up with her. The two talk for a bit and the girl introduces herself as Louise. Evan follows her into a museum and they both start looking at the paintings in there. Louise reveals that she's a scientist. She then points to a painting depicting a dual eye color woman and asks Evan what she thinks of her. Evan tells her she looks attractive, to which seemingly makes Louise happy. While they're sitting outside later discussing places, Louise tells Evan that she went to Mexico with an ex. When Evan asks more about her ex, Louise tells him he was awful, but she went out with him because he wrote her romantic letters and was fun to drink with. Evan again tries his luck and asks if she wants to drink wine with him. Louise gives him a pen and paper and tells him to write her a letter first. Evan writes for her, which makes her smile and she agrees to drink with him. They talk for a while while drinking, then Louise takes Evan away to enjoy the sea. After some more conversation and fun time spent together, the two end up in bed. Evan pulls out a condom, but Louise grabs it and tosses it away. While they sleep in each other's embrace, Louise's face suddenly changes and veins are seen pulsating in her cheeks. She then transforms into a skinny, inhuman creature and weakly walks down the street. She sees a cat walking ahead and viciously grabs it. The next day, Evan awakens to find her missing and gets disappointed. As Evan works at the farm, Louise is shown her place, hiding a different colored eye with a lens. She notices her skin bubbling up and panics. She immediately injects herself with a liquid and her skin heals. Evan again runs into her later that day. He tries to talk, but she tells him she doesn't remember him. Confused and hurt, Evan looks away, but Louise bursts into laughter and reveals it was a joke. The two start hanging out again. Evan stops at a tobacco shop and asks Louise if she smokes. She tells him she does occasionally. Evan reveals he's a regular smoker, to which Louise says he shouldn't do that. Evan tells her he'll quit smoking if she goes on another date with him, but Louise says he shouldn't quit for her. Louise later takes Evan to her house and starts preparing something to eat. Evan notices her rabbits and asks about them. Louise says she rescued them from her lab and is now looking for a new home for them. While looking through Louise's phones to play some music, Evan finds a number of songs in numerous different languages. Impressed, he asks Louise if she speaks any of them. Louise reveals that she indeed knows a number of languages, including some dead ones like Greek and Latin. She then joins Evan on the couch, but upon noticing her thigh bubbling up, she immediately rushes to the bathroom. Evan wanders around her house, observing the pictures on her wall depicting a reptilian evolution as Louise is shown mutating into a reptilian creature in her bathroom. 
She gives herself the injection and finally heals, returning to her normal human self. She then returns to Evan just as he's putting soup in the bowls for them. The next morning, Evan wakes up and tells Louise he has to leave for work. While using her bathroom, he sees her used syringe on the floor and gets suspicious. Evan returns to the farm and works on it with Angelo. While taking a break to smoke, Evan finds a brutally killed sheep in the grass. When he meets up with Louise next, Evan asks her about the syringe. Louise tells him she doesn't do drugs. She has a medical condition that comes and goes. Evan then takes out his phone and remarks that he hasn't used it in forever, but he wants to take a picture with her. Louise remarks he must have used it to call his family, but Evan gives no response. Louise then asks him about his family. Evan simply tells her they're great and calls a waiter over to take a picture of them. However, Louise's face appears distorted in the photo. Evan brushes it off, saying she must have moved. Louise again urges Evan to tell her about his family. When Evan hesitates, she gets mad and walks away. Evan follows Louise to a lake and apologizes to her but remarks that she's overreacting. Louise says it's strange that they're sleeping and eating together but Evan can't even tell her about his family. Evan finally opens up to her and tells her that his father died of a heart attack and his mother was diagnosed with cancer soon after. He further reveals that she only died a weeks ago. Louise pulls his head into her lap and comforts him. Evan lays there with his head on her lap for a while and then gets back up and asks Louise to tell him a secret of hers. Louise takes off her eyelid and reveals that she has heterochromia. Evan tells her she has beautiful eyes and that she shouldn't wear lens to hide it. The next day, while Louise is taking a saliva sample from a man, the man remarks something stinks in there and leaves. Louise sniffs herself and notices her rotting skin. She looks for her syringe, but to her dismay, she realizes she's out. She goes into a hidden cave with her bunnies and prepares for a ritual as she again transforms into an inhumanely skinny creature. She kills her rabbit and starts writing on the wall with its blood. Her condition still doesn't improve after completing the ritual, which disappoints her greatly. She breaks down and slumps against a wall. A moment later, she grabs the dead rabbit and starts eating its flesh like a demon. Evan stops by Louise's house to find her sick. She tells him she had a long, bad day and doesn't want to go out. Evan tells her that's not a problem, saying they can stay in and watch movies. He then gives her a pillow and a blanket and goes to bring her something to eat. The next day, Evan gets free from work early and goes to a bookstore. He sees a book depicting a dual eye-colored woman on the cover. Recalling Louise's fascination with such ancient things, he decides to buy it for her. As he walks out, another old picture is seen on the wall of a dual-eyed colored woman. Louise runs into him while walking home from work. Evan gives her the book, which seems to please Louise. She asks him to sign it for her. After he's done, she tells him she wants to take him to a secret place. The two get into a boat and go to a hidden cave where the water seems to be glowing. Louise reveals that the glow is caused by the refraction of the sunlight by the water. She further tells him that no one knows of the cave. Some statues exhibited in the museum were found in this cave. While they're sitting at a cafe later, Louise notices her skin condition worsening again. She tells Evan she has to work early the next day and leaves in a haste. While she's weakly walking down the deserted street, a guy sees her and starts following her. He offers her money to sleep with him, but when she doesn't respond in any way, he considers her silence as green lights and inches closer to her. He lifts her dress, but to his horror, he sees scales forming on her legs. Louise, who has now transformed into a scaly reptilian creature, turns to him and kills him. The next morning, his corpse is found on the rocks by the ocean. When Evan goes to visit Louise the next day, she tells him this isn't a good time and doesn't get out of the way to let him in. However, when she sees cops nearby, she lets him in knowing he could get in trouble for being an illegal immigrant. Once he's inside, Louise tells him that their relationship has been progressing too fast and she needs to focus on some things without being in a relationship. That's why they can't see each other anymore. Evan tries to convince her to sort out the problem, but she doesn't explain and insists he leaves. At the door, Evan tells her that he's fallen in love with her and she shouldn't throw her relationship away. But Louise opens the door, urging him to leave. Heartbroken and confused, Evan walks away. The next day, Evan thanks Angelo and tells him he had fun at his farm. The two share a brief exchange, but as soon as the immigration police arrive, Evan flees. Having nowhere else to go, Evan ends up at Luis's door. He sees blood inside through the door and hastily breaks it open to see a tentacled monster in Luis's dress trying to reach for a syringe. Evan looks at it in disbelief, but then gathers up his courage and injects the fluid from the syringe into the monster. The monster turns back into Luis and asks Evan if he can turn on the shower. Later, Evan asks her to explain what just happened. When Louise hesitates, he gets enraged and walks out. Louise follows him out and starts explaining. She reveals that she's a 2,000-year-old mutant. All of the pictures of women with dual eye color, including the one on the cover of the book, are of her. Every 20 years in spring, she gets herself pregnant, and then her body uses cells in the embryo she carries to recreate her while she changes into different creatures during the process. 
She didn't use a condom during intercourse with Evan in order to purposely get impregnated. Thinking it's a lot to take in, Evan asks her to give him a moment and attempts to call Tommy. Tommy, however, is wasted as usual and not able to have a conversation. After hanging up, he sees Angelo standing a few feet ahead, crying, holding his wife's picture in hand. Realizing he'll also be losing the love of his life, Evan goes back to Louise and tells her he wants to know more. Louise then explains to him that seven days from getting pregnant, her body transforms. 24 days are left, she says, until that transformation. She also tells him that if she falls in love, the love hormones will keep the embryo cells from consumption and Louise will be left as normal mortal woman. Evan asks if she's in love with him, to which she replies she isn't and also she would not give up her immortality for anyone. Evan tells her to spend her last 24 hours with him, but she tells him she can't since her transformations are uncontrollable and she could end up hurting him. Evan, however, keeps on insisting. Thus, the two spend their last hours together. The two go to museums where Louise tells Evan about all the ancient things she's seen live. She then takes Evan to the ruins of Pompeii, where she was born and raised, and tells him of family history. The time soon comes and Evan makes one last attempt, begging Louise not to change, to which she replies she can't control it, her body does. Louise insists that he leaves since she could end up hurting him during the transformations, but Evan refuses to leave her side. Louise lies down with her head on Evan's lap and asks him to tell her more about the mortals. Evan tells her about the experience of being mortal and all the positive aspects to it while cracking and popping sounds are heard, indicating that she's changing. The sun rises and Evan looks down at Louise to see her still in her current human form. This indicates she fell in love with him as well, and now she's a normal mortal woman who could spend the rest of her days with him happily. With this, the movie ends. Thanks for watching, guys!